from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Thursday, May the 13th, 2021. The rocket assault on Israel continued last night and throughout the day and evening and into tonight unrelentingly, with barrages of rockets fired at southern and central Israel, including at Tel Aviv and Beersheba. One rocket even fell near Israel's southernmost city of Eilat. It landed in an open area, and there was no damage there. Most of the rockets were intercepted by the Iron Dome, but several made landfall, causing widespread damage and injury. And sadly, last night, the little boy who was critically injured when a rocket hit his home in Sterot has died. Five-year-old Ido Avigal was in the safe, fortified room of his apartment building in Sterot with his mother at the time of the hit. But in a rare occurrence, rocket shrapnel penetrated the window of the safe room, critically injuring him and also wounding his mother. He died several hours later. The IDF has now ordered the public to stay below the bottom of the window or windows in their safe rooms. The IDF, meanwhile, is carrying out airstrikes against terror targets in Gaza, including a building housing Hamas military intelligence offices. The IDF tweeted, stressing that before the strike, we warned civilians in the building and allowed sufficient time for them to evacuate the site. The IDF also released video footage showing an F-16 fighter jet shooting down an armed so-called suicide drone launched from Gaza. These drones, several of which have been sent into Israel, carry approximately 11 pounds of explosives. Last night also saw a major uptick in Arab Jewish violence with rioting and chaos across several cities with Arabs perpetrating violence on Jews, including a Jewish man stabbed and injured in the town of Tamra, and Jews perpetrating attacks on Arabs, including an Arab man severely beaten by a Jewish mob of extremists in Batyam. Hundreds were arrested. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu condemned the incidents as intolerable, Addressing the citizens of Israel, Netanyahu said, I do not care if your blood is boiling. You cannot take the law into your own hands. You cannot grab an ordinary Arab citizen and try to lynch him, just as we cannot watch Arab citizens do this to Jewish citizens. This will not happen. The prime minister is sending more police and border police officers to the troubled areas, vowing that calm and order will be restored. Yamina party leader Naftali Bennett called what happened in Batyam un-Jewish, immoral, inhuman. And Sephardic chief Rabbi Yitzhak Yosef stressed that the Torah does not permit one to take the law into one's own hands. We must be a light onto the nations, he said, and not, God forbid, the opposite. Prime Minister Netanyahu spoke over the phone last night with U.S. President Joe Biden about the situation with the rocket assault on Israel. The White House said the president condemned the rocket attacks by Hamas and other terrorist groups, including against Jerusalem and Tel Aviv, saying Biden conveyed his unwavering support for Israel's security and for Israel's legitimate right to defend itself and its people while protecting civilians. He also conveyed the United United States' encouragement of a pathway toward restoring a sustainable calm. And thousands of people across the United States yesterday came together to show their support for Israel. Rallies organized by the Israeli American Council and other Jewish organizations took place in 19 cities across the U.S., including in New York City, in Boston, and Los Angeles, as well as in Atlanta, Austin, Cleveland, Denver, Washington, D.C., and others. IAC founder and CEO Shoham Nicolette said, Our communities are always closely connected to Israel, especially now when our brothers and sisters are under brutal attack by terrorist organizations. We need to be there to speak in support of Israel and its citizens and to stand together side by side against 
terror. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS, for Thursday, May the 13th at 7 o'clock, it's Talmud Study. At 8, a panel discussion on foreign investment that fuels Israel's high-tech. That's from APAC 2020. At 9, Mark Golub sits down with filmmaker, journalist, and historian Emmanuel Aronson Rund on L'Chaim. At 10, Stephen Baim describes the history of the Balfour Declaration. And coming up next, Shachar Azani speaks with Adele Raymer, a medical clown who has lived in Kibbutz Nirit since 1974 and who experienced Hamas's rocket barrages this week. She shares what life is like on the ground in Israel during these harrowing days. And that's the JBS News Update for Thursday, May the 13th, 2021. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy. Stay well.